Hello and welcome to Audio Talk. Today we're going to review Spatial Audio's X3 open baffle loudspeaker system. We're going to check out the components on the front of the speaker and rear. We're going to have some listening tests and we're going to review the benefits at the end of the review. Let's get started. To begin, let's start with the baffle itself. Clayton has sourced a very interesting product called Ultralam. It's made out of Germany and it's made of hundreds of layers of beech wood all glued together to form a natural sounding wood composite structure that looks very attractive and it's very dense. Listen, no ringing. Let's go into the air motion transformer, the high end unit, also called the AMT driver. It's a very interesting driver. Tough to see, but inside there's an eight inch diaphragm all corrugated and folded together. It moves horizontally and squeezes sound out. The waveguide ensures that we have control directivity to the listener. We also have a custom made mid range that's crossed down at 90 hertz and a custom made 15 inch whiffer that's crossed down at 25. Stand feet and of course spikes. If my lovely wife could come to the side, babe. I'll show you that Clayton's got a key design element called an isolated sub baffle structure here. It's very key. It houses the crossover network. You can see a couple caps there. And also the class D amp in the back. And why it's key is the Ultraland baffle itself, obviously all three drivers are mounted to it. And during dynamic passages, they're moving rather aggressively, correct? So the sub baffle structure that's isolated is completely independent and the crossover network and the amp that I'll show you now in the back is free of resonance. It's an n 250 watt class D amp. Of course as we go up the back of the speaker you've got your custom made subwoofer there, custom made mid-range, and the AMT driver. It's got a cardioid pattern and sound comes out the back of it creating a nice deep sound stage. Okay, now for the fun part of the review, the listening test. When I first got my Spatial X3s, I went through my entire music catalog, and through the process, I found a couple of gems that I wanted to play for you. Uh, this one is an older song. It's from America, a band that came out in the very early 70s, three acoustic guitar players with three awesome voices, each with a distinct timbre in their voice, and I want you to listen for the richness and the harmonics of the guitars and the timbre in the three voices of America. This is called Children. The boy cried out Baby on the ground Something he had found. Oh, come on, children, get your heads back together. Oh, come on, children, get your heads back together. Oh, come on, children, get your heads back together. Days are getting warmer now. The nights are getting shorter now. And you know we can make it, cause you know we're alive. But we don't have to take it, anyway we'll survive. Okay, the next song will be from Phil Collins. It's from the album But Seriously, and the song is That's Just the Way It Is. And Phil Collins and um, David Crosby, I guess they're friends, and they had a pack that they'd sing some songs together uh, eventually throughout their careers. And of course, they sang Another Day in Paradise. And then this one, Just the Way It Is, never got any airplay, but to me, it's one of my favorites. 
I really love the way the X3s distinctively separate Phil's voice from David's voice. David Crosby is an amazing harmony singer, as you obviously know from Crosby, Stills, and Nash, uh, and sometimes Young. And um, he blends so well with Phil, and there's a lot of things going on in the background of this song. There's electric guitar that's just kind of sliding down the neck with a kind of an interesting effect. And in my other speaker systems in the past, I just never heard the resolution of the guitar sliding down and the slight echo that's happening. Uh, it's a really great test for your sound staging to see how deep it goes. And the X3s just do an incredible job of handling the vocal harmonies as well as the guitar. So um, let's play it. And here we go, just the way it is. Okay, next tune is Janice Ian from her Breaking Silence LP. Um, actually, um, I had the CD and I loved every song on it. It's one of the best recorded CDs I've heard. Awesome musicians, the songs are well written and Janice sings very passionately. It's just her style, I love it. And um, just really a treat to listen to every song. So in this song we're gonna listen to through the years, again, the bass and the, and the impact of the bass and the drums is just so tight uh, on this recording and the X3s just totally love it and bring it out. So enjoy it through the years. I'm gonna give you a little glimpse of it. Okay, we're coming to the close of our review of the Spatial Audio X3. I put together a benefit slide that I wanted to review with you. First, I wanted to talk about Clayton Shaw's design philosophy for the X3s. He wants to drastically reduce listening fatigue by eliminating distortion as much as possible. So how does he do that? First, let's talk about the open baffle design. He uses lightweight, 
high acceleration drivers in the mid range and the base driver that are ultra fast and they start and stop very quickly. They return back to a stable position almost instantaneously. This allows for faster attack and faster decay times. They also have no re-radiation, which means no smearing. Let me explain. A cabinet speaker has a driver that moves back and forth like a piston. Well, when it moves back into the cabinet, there's sound that goes inside the cabinet. Now, speaker designers use very sophisticated techniques for bracing and use clever sound absorbing techniques and materials. But at the end of the day, there's still sound inside the cabinet and it has to go somewhere. So it goes back out through the cone of the driver and into the listening room, creating a smearing effect. This disrupts the sound stage and imaging impacting the overall sound and that doesn't happen in an open baffle loudspeaker. Let's talk about the air motion transformer, the AMT driver. I mentioned earlier in the video that the diaphragm for the AMT driver was corrugated and folded and it works very similar to an accordion where it moves horizontally squeezing out sound sending it out. If you were to unfold that diaphragm it would be 8 inches in diameter. That's a significant amount of surface area, much more than, for example, a one inch dome tweeter, right? So it's a huge area to reproduce frequencies and it's 101 dB efficient. It's like, think of that large area as a lever. So let's say you wanna move a heavy, large rock and you can't lift it. But if you were to take like a shovel or an, you know some strong device and you were to pry it and move it like a lever, you can move that rock. Well, an eight inch driver uh, supporting upper mid range and ultra high frequencies has a lot more advantage than a smaller surface. So it's, it's mechanically a huge advantage. Also, Clayton utilizes the precision waveguide. So you saw the AMT driver and Clayton's another one of his design philosophies is to increase the ratio of control directivity of sound versus reflective sound. He's not going for sound bouncing off the floor, off the ceiling. He's looking for a control direct approach. And the waveguide supports that objective nicely. Also, the X3 is, has very coherent sound. All three of the drivers seamlessly integrate, uh, creating a one piece sound. Next, I wanted to talk about the sub baffle structure that houses the crossover and the amp that powers the woofer. Okay, it's a very important part of the design philosophy that Clayton has because it really reduces resonance as the sub baffle structures completely isolates the crossover and the amp from the baffle, the ultra lamp baffle that has the three drivers mounted to it. So it really reduces resonance, helping the overall sound. Okay, I also wanted to talk about the amount of money that's invested in the components and drivers in the X3s. Of course, this is not a cabinet speaker. Typical cabinets speakers are a lot of money are invested in the cabinet. The money in this speaker is put to where it needs to go. The baffle is a key part of the open baffle design and Clayton chose wisely and got a very sophisticated product called the Ultra Lamb from Germany as I mentioned earlier that is extremely dead and looks beautiful. Meets those requirements that he was looking for. The driver is the AMT driver. It's the most sophisticated high quality AMT driver on the market. It doesn't cross over at 2500 hertz like a lot of the ones that you'll see like in Parts Express. This crosses down to 1000. It's ultra high quality and very expensive. The custom made mid-range and base drivers are top notch world class as well as the Encore amp and the crossover components. So for the $7500 that you're spending for the speakers, you basically get highest quality components for that money possible. If you were to compare the components in the $7,500 speaker versus a $20,000 speaker, I think you'd be pleasantly surprised at how much and how much more expensive and higher quality these components are in the X3. And at the end of the day, that's where you want your money invested in this, into components and drivers that's gonna sound the best. Finally, the architectural design of the speaker is frankly beautiful. I've talked about the smart design in the engineering but it looks fantastic. I really like the way it looks in the room and more importantly my wife loves it too. 
the other thing I really like about it is we just have two speakers here. The old system that I had had two subwoofers, one for each channel, and then of course the two front speakers. So we had four speakers in the room. It took a tremendous amount of floor space. The footprint on the X3s is small, and I only need two speakers because they go down to 25 hertz. It's a very small footprint. They look elegant. It's just a great looking, and even more importantly to me, a great sounding speaker that I'm totally thrilled that I made the purchase to buy. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you have, give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you at the next review. Have a great day. For the listening test, the Sony PCM D100 with its high quality built in Sony condenser mics and digital converters was used. It was recorded in 24192.